This is how we do it. Ooh. Awesome. Pretty flick right there. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Okay guys, it is February the 23rd and as most of the Midwest knows, this last week has been pretty crazy with the, with the weather. It was negative 15, um, what, five or six days ago? Literally got down to negative 15 and right now my truck says it is 78 degrees. You got my sweet tarts. Anyways, so uh, a day this nice, and I got off work around 2, 2.30. It's about 3.45 now. But uh, I couldn't help myself but to grab my 22, 250, and I'm gonna go walk out my lease here in OK. And uh, I don't know. See if we can walk up on a pig or something. Just got to be outside. It's such great weather that I just wanted to get out and maybe find some sheds. Maybe shoot a pig. We'll see what we see. But uh, we're going to bring the camera and just go have some fun. So, anyways, springtime's rolling around and that means we got turkey season, we got crappie fishing. And we got morel mushrooms all coming up. Oh, and shed hunting. So we have all kinds of good stuff in store for you. Anyways, I'm gonna get out here and walk around and let's see if we find something. Here to the lease. I'm walking down a uh, trail that I cut with a brush hog. And we're just gonna look around and see if we can find any sheds or some deer sign. Or uh, you never know what we might walk, walk up on. So we'll find out. So we have a, uh, a decent three-year-old on this uh, piece of property. And uh, I think he was a nine point last season. He'll be a pretty good one next fall. But uh, I think I got in his little territory here. As you can see, we got one rub right here. Got a couple more over there. And I can see some more on up. Possibly get a stand up in that tree right there. Or in that one right there. It's just an idea. Okay guys. Um I just wanted to stop for a second and give you guys a little rundown of our plan with hype. So the year is 2021. So far the plans that we have this year, we're going to be doing coyote hunting. We're going to be doing turkey hunting. We're going to be doing noodling. We're going to be fishing from kayaks. I mean, bass fishing, crappie fishing, sand bass fishing, snagging. Um, Pretty much you name it is what our ambition is for this. And along the way, we're also, we have a brand and we're trying to push the brand. We have hats, shirts, um, koozies, beanies, hoodies, zip up hoodies, uh, coasters, keychains, bottle openers. We, get, we can pretty much make about anything you want. We can do whatever you want with hype on it. And that's our goal 
and we're trying to just basically push our brand and the big meaning behind it is what is the hype for you guys what gets you hyped me it's deer hunting and noodling those are my two passions so we're just kind of switching it up we're going to try and bring everything to you this year um for instance i mean we i've got friends that turkey hunting is just their that's their bread and butter so that's their hype i mean and then maybe here within the next year i also have something i want to bring to you guys is a podcast i'd like to bring a podcast and do a weekly podcast of what's the hype of the week and uh so we have that idea also we've thought about even bringing cooking ideas to you ways that we cook our fish way that we cook our turkey our deer or whatever we might be getting squirrel <laughs> and uh we're just trying to bring all that to you guys and make it fun and creative and uh anyway so this is the plan that we have for this channel so it all started out as we got our own cameras and started filming our own deer hunts and they're like well this is fun so i had hats made and then i put leather patches on them and next thing i know one thing leads after another and now we've got hundreds hundreds of uh, shirts made hundreds of hats and we're located here in muskogee muskogee oklahoma and we're trying to get this brand out of muskogee into the tulsa areas down south towards McAllister, and just slowly expand and then futuristically expand into other states as well so we'll see um, i know this summer we have lots of noodling coming up um, and that's like I said that's my passion and I'm really gonna try and get all of every noodling trip on film for you guys we're gonna have lots of guests come noodle with us we're gonna get footage of everybody and if you're interested in getting with us and come noodling just uh, shoot us a message and we'd be happy to try and team up with you at some point and get you out in the water and show you how it's done um, we have Kansas deer hunting this coming year or this coming fall we have I have a trip booked already in Colorado I'm gonna be doing uh, Colorado elk hunting and Colorado bear hunting um, I'm working on a trip to either Arizona or New Mexico on a mule deer archery hunt um, anyways just some things that I have in the works and I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of the idea that we have with this channel and this brand anyways I'm gonna get back out here to looking for deer sheds and whatever whatever else i might find but i just wanted to stop and let you guys know my plan and my partner's plans with this brand i appreciate you guys stay tuned also i forgot to mention to you guys we are going to be having some contests come up this year we're going to be doing a biggest crappie contest we're going to be doing a biggest turkey contest a biggest catfish contest a biggest deer contest and i think a biggest bass contest I think those are the five different contests we're having this year um, so what you will do with your fish or your game you will take a picture with it along with a picture set with the date of your catch or your kill of your game saying hype outdoors contest entry that way we know that you're not trying to take a picture of a fish or a deer that you killed two years ago and enter this year's contest and every contest winner is a $200 prize, along with either a hat or a shirt of your choice. So uh, anyway, some fun little prizes and giveaways we're gonna have this year. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you while I was at it. And um, now I'll get back out there. We still got a little snow on the ground, but most of it is melted off. Little trail I brush hog last September I believe this is how we do it <laughs> I don't know why I just did that all right here's a spot we have a, uh, a box blind that has been there for a while but it comes out of this trail right here overlooks this power line I've got this field brush hog down and I plan on making this a food plot this coming spring so 
I'll have that in the works. Anyways, it's all in the making. New things happening. So I uh, made it down here into the bottom of this little ridge and we're in a little creek bed down here. And uh, honestly, this looks like a really good spot for a setup for next season. It'd be a really good bow spot. You can only see, I don't know, 35 yards up the ridge and then the bottom of this ridge at the creek, bottom of the creek bed. And I really feel like they probably travel this and come down. So uh, something to think about for next year. He was dead. Pretty little guy though. Finding that uh, turtle shell reminded me of whenever I was a kid, um, me and my brothers, we would always be out and about with my grandpa. And anytime we would find them in the summertime, springtime, we would pick them up and keep them for a while because in the town that my grandpa grew up in they'd always do a uh like old moggy he grew up or he lived in old moggy oklahoma and anyways and they always had a, this festival called the pecan festival anyways and they had terrapin races and so anytime we'd find turtles he'd have us pick them up and we'd get the fastest turtles and then the fastest three we would keep and let the rest go and then we would go and enter that turtle race and win the win it every year i don't know it just made me think of that so uh kind of a neat little memory Here is why I came out here just to find some neat stuff like that. Awesome. I found a heck of a trail. There's a ridge that comes down right here, and there's a ridge that comes down right there, as you can see. And then we got a creek bed, and I have got deer track galore. I mean, they're hard to see right now, but obviously. I mean, look at the size of this buck. Here's my foot. Just compared to a size 12 and a half boot. Look at that. I mean, that sucker. That's a big track right there. I'm guessing he went. I mean, he went over there. I don't know. I'm guessing he would probably wander and then because we got a river right over here and this is a hell of a spot to have a stand i think this is a place with some potential right here Eight, number two oh. Oh, doe. so we got a small buck an old doe She's falling apart. This one will be worth keeping. It's a neat find. Where's my butt? Oh, shoot. As you can see, it's pretty slick right there. Alright, and now we're about it up against the Arkansas River. Actually, this is the Vertigus River right here. It butts up to the Vertigus. And Vertigus dumps into the Arkansas on down. Anyways, sure is pretty. I caught my biggest catfish on rod and reel right up on this bank underneath that bridge. It was about 10 years ago, and he was about a 25 pound flathead. And that was my biggest on rod and reel ever, which is not a monster, but 
but it's fun for rod and reel. crazy just a few days ago it was 80 85 degrees cooler than it is right now in just a matter of days I'm out here sweating now crazy there goes some deer Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Like I said, it was just a little evening. We had some nice weather. I just wanted to get out of the house and walk around the lease and see if we could find anything. I found this little guy. Uh, found a, do a doe skull. Um, but it was just nice to get out, look around, find new rubs, scrapes, kind of scout new ground, because this was our first year to have this lease. and. Uh, Learned a lot. I'm actually sitting on a rub line as we speak. Uh, but it, so it's nice to get out here and see if I could find some new new stuff that I didn't know about before. Um, like I said, you guys stay tuned. We're gonna have lots of contests for you this year. We're gonna do biggest crappie, biggest catfish, biggest bass, biggest turkey, and biggest deer. All that's going down in 2021. Um, so you guys stay tuned. We'll keep you updated and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we're going to give you as much action as we can. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything you do. Stay tuned. Had some deer right here on the bottom of this ridge where I was just scouting earlier and told you guys that I was thinking about possibly putting a setup for next season. I had about eight deer down there. Kind of caught a glimpse of them as they were leaving. And uh, anyways, it's, it's exciting. And you can't beat this. I mean, people wonder why I do what I do. This is it. And starting this channel for you guys, it's just a small part of the happiness I enjoy to bring to you guys. I don't know. Sorry, just wanted to catch in on that. And uh, see you next time. I do, you're going to catch this fish. You're going to get a picture with it holding a picture. Ah. Let me start over. The biggest crappie contest. So you're going to actually, it might be the turkey first. Anyways, long story short. Gosh, take 